Hey guys, what's going on? It is Sarge here. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. So, uh, I got a, a big update here on what's going on, what's been happening. And also, I'm going to have like a steady income now for the summer. So, expect a lot more posts, probably a good amount of box break stuff, a uh, bunch more eBay stuff. Now that I'm going to have an income, uh, we'll be able to... Uh, you know, get some of that rocking and rolling. I'll be able to expand the collection a wee bit. So I got a lot of stuff. Um, first big thing, um, I don't want to cascade over this, but I started building, it's a set build, of the 1973 top set. And uh, here's just like the stacks I got working. Um, sorted, those are 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s. A little bit of 600s and some extra ones that need to be put away. Um, and then that this box back here has the rest of them in it, uh, like 100 to whatever it is. I got them penny sleeve. The reason these other ones aren't um, in there is because I ran out of penny sleeves. You might see some, but uh, I had gotten two packages uh, different times from each other, and I penny sleeved the first ones, but didn't have enough for the second one. So I just need to go get penny sleeves. I'm being real lazy about it. But the thing is. Um, the 1973 top set, the main card is the Mike Schmidt rookie card, and I did happen to pick one of those up for the set. It's an 8, but it's off-centered, so it was a little cheaper, um, but I did want to get this card at least, like, a solid grade on it, so it's PSA, near mint mint. The 8, it's off-center, though, but I'm still happy, because the set's not going to be a perfect set, it's just something that I'm doing to pass some time. So now some updates. Let's get rocking and rolling. All right. Uh, first things first. Um, entered a group break. First one I'd done in a while for Inception. Uh, the new Inception. Liked what it looked like. Ended up doing a random group break. Got the Nationals, which I thought maybe I'd get a Trey Turner, maybe i get a Bryce, something like that. Nothing crazy. So I got a Murphy, Turner, uh, this Green Harper, a Scherzer, Strasburg, and out of 75, uh, Daniel Murphy. So that's all I got out of there. Uh, wasn't too bad. Had fun, you know, usual group break things. Then I had an outstanding um, redemption to tops for, it was just like a swatch card of uh, a UFC fighter. I forget who it was. It might have been Tom Lawler. And uh, I got a package from them. So they sent me a Phil Davis out of 199. And then, this was really sweet, they sent me a Ric Flair one of one printing plate from 2015 tops as the makeup so that was pretty awesome for them to do that they didn't really have to i would have been fine with the phil davis but that was awesome um we'll do hockey why not do hockey you know that you guys know i'm a ducks fan i had that one little spurt of duck collecting and they were in the playoffs again heartbreaking loss but while they were in the playoffs i decided to look up see what was out there so i picked up two cards both from the same seller same lot very good price uh, 7 out of 10 prime quads of Emerson Edom, Sammy Vatten, and Hampus Lindholm, and Frederick Anderson with Ducks belt out. Uh, only person maybe left with the team is going to be Lindholm after the draft for the Las Vegas Golden Knights because Vatten will probably get picked. If I was them, I'd pick him or Patrick Eves for the team. And then the other card I snagged was this nasty out of 50. Out of 50? Yeah, out of 50. Getzloff. Uh, National Treasures auto with the patches and stuff crazy looking card awesome he had, a, he had an amazing playoff run but those two were sick snags i was very pumped to get them so that's that and let's keep it on rolling so uh baseball let's just do baseball so some things i picked up a castro five star out of 97 being in new york Seeing what Castro's doing this year, knowing he's going to make the All-Star team, I had to look, and I picked this up before everything got, like, crazy, you know, before he really, like, before it became, like, a reality that he was probably going to get an All-Star bid. So, you know, I picked this up. Uh, nice five-star card. Always liked this year's five-star. 2012, yeah, 2012 five-star. That was one of the nice years for them. Uh, from the new tribute, Andy Pettit Auto out of 99. The 101 of this went for, like, 200 bucks or so. Maybe 210. I saw that I was watching it, but you know, funds aren't here to get that bad boy. But nice out of 99. And the pleasant surprise this year 
from tier one, no, from triple threads. Triple threads? Triple threads. Yeah, triple threads. Uh, out of 75, Severino. Triple jersey, auto. So that's that stuff. And then some Kinsler stuff, as usual. Snag this nice little patch. Timeline at a nine. Uh, three and nine from Triple Threads as well. From 2013. Really nice card. I was really pumped to pick that up. And then I just got this in the mail today. This uh, five by seven, five, five tools out of ten. You see it in the right up here. Out of 10, you can kind of see it. Yeah, you get a look there. But yeah, this is pretty cool looking. And, uh, you know, I kind of like these oversized things. They're pretty neat. Little display pieces. And then uh, some Bulls dang stuff. Well, actually, one bull and then it's all dang. Uh, this patch from Gibson at 25. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I uh, figured I'd show it just in case because I don't God, I get some, I get stuff in, and I just forget to, sh you know, film a video, and then I put it away, and I just forget. So, other dang stuff. Clutch Factor from the new Nat Treasures out of 75. I like that they got some stuff out with him and his Laker Uni. Uh, I also have the 25 out of the bronze version, I believe, from the new uh, Nat Treasures as well. I was watching one of the ones out of 10, and I started doing something on my phone, and I forgot to bid on it, so I felt like an idiot. And I also have uh, the Prestige Auto out of 99, which was the first um, first Laker Uni Auto he had. Uh, and then this one, Silhouette Crown Royal out of 25. Dang Jersey Auto. And then these are just sweet as heck from the 1617 Select. Throwback tie-dye patch. So him and the Bulls Uni, the patch out of 25. No, 21, pardon me. 21 of 21. And then, I also was able to snag the Starburst, I think? Black Starburst, something like that. Uh, I love the patch in this, so I was not letting this bad boy go. Out of 10, 8 of 10. Uh, really sweet to have those two. And then, the last one, which I was super hyped to pick up. I got a Gold Refractor Rookie. Of Luol Deng, graded a 9.5 from Beckett. It's out of 99. You see the numbering up here, kind of. There's a good look at it. 77 of 99. Wanted one of these a little while ago. Uh, someone outbid me for it. And I was a little angry, but then I picked this one up, so all is well. And now I have my pristine 10 regular Chrome Rookie, and now I have the Gold Refractor Rookie, which is pretty sweet. So guys, that is all the stuff I have, but certainly stay tuned because things should be picking up very shortly because uh, I got a lot of stuff I got my eyes on. I got a lot of stuff I want to do. I got a lot of sets I want to work through, like the 73 set. I got some jersey sets. Um, you know, just just stay tuned because I got, I got lists of things I want to get rocking and rolling on, and hopefully uh, I can get some of them done before summer's up. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. Hope everyone's doing well. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.